Elon Musk is doing a lot of amazing things on Twitter, and I want to be upfront about that. The heavy majority of everything he's doing, I am loving. I have one case in particular that I very much disagree with him on, and I think it's a big problem, and that is the Alex Jones element. Elon Musk has continued to talk about free speech and how Twitter will be a free speech platform. He's built it all off of that. Uh, I understand that even with free speech, you do have certain lines and certain rules that need to be implemented. I totally understand that. But that's not what Elon Musk is doing with Alex Jones. And I know there's been speculation that he's doing it for bigger reasons. He's not. And he's made it very clear why he's not bringing Alex Jones back. And it is a personal issue for Elon Musk. And that is not the right way to run a platform that you are advertising as free speech. So, again, he's already commented on this a few times. He's talked about the Alex Jones element. He's responded to many people straight up saying no. And then when uh, Viva Frey uh, the other day responded to him, he basically just said, too bad. If you wanted Alex Jones back, that's just too bad. And many people were speculating, including Alex Jones himself, that there were powers that be the for the reason of Elon Musk not bringing him back. That just doesn't seem to be the case at all. Here you have a tweet saying, it's time to let Alex Jones back on Twitter, Elon Musk. If not, why not? And he responds right here, and he says, "Uh, my firstborn child died in my arms. I felt his last heartbeat. That has nothing to do with Alex Jones. It's obviously tragic. It's obviously horrible. And it's an experience that no person should have to go through. That has nothing to do with Alex Jones. Nothing. The next part, I have no mercy for anyone who would use the deaths of children to gain uh, for politics or fame. That is such a ridiculous statement about Alex Jones. And you're acting like he's the only person that could have possibly benefited from the Sandy Hook tragedy. And it's already been proven that he didn't really benefit from the Sandy Hook tragedy. But do you know who did? Do you know who did? The mainstream media. Do you know who did? David Hogg. Do you know who's on your platform right now? Literal world leaders who have started wars where children have died, but they're still on your platform. This is such a ridiculous take from Elon Musk. Again, to be clear, loving everything he's doing on this platform with the exception of this, in, this one in particular topic. And it's a big one because it shows a massive flaw in his approach because he's not doing this out of any policy. He's not, he's not talking about, well, this is the specific reasons why. He's just saying, because I don't feel like having him on the platform. What does your firstborn child dying in your arms, as tragic and horrible as it is, and I have nothing but sympathy to offer to that, what does that have to do with Alex Jones? What does that have to do with him? Nothing. And, you know, there's Josiah saying, hey, so there's not free speech then. Uh, right here, Shu uh, on head made a great point. Your story is heartbreaking, but this is literally just confirmation, uh, confirmation that you're making rules based on how you personally feel about things. No mercy, uh, for, okay, Mr. Merciful billionaire, God, can you just run a website? Like there are war criminals on here. And that is the entire point behind this. This is such a horrific take from Elon. This right here is a perfect breakdown of the entire scenario um the politics was such that the media covered it to reduce the second amendment alex jones did not have a political proposal to sandy hook the fame was that alex jones amplified internet memes that were found on twitter so twitter was the source of sandy hook conspiracies and alex jones amplified that and had a guest on his air And then Alex Jones frequently agrees with his guests who are saying very stupid things. There are a bunch of guests that Alex has had on where I've texted him and said, that's not true. Here's why it's not true. And Alex Jones sometimes has on guests and agrees with them verbally uh, to move the segment along. Or or maybe he believes it. You know, who knows? Uh, But he's just a man talking extemporaneously off the cuff. His producers are not scripting anything from him. He's not reading a teleprompter or anything like that. And lastly, he didn't make money off of Sandy Hook. His viewership didn't go up because of Sandy Hook, so there wasn't any contemporary gain. Uh, He didn't sell new products because of Sandy Hook. Sandy Hook wasn't a promo code. Um, None of that type of stuff. You know who did make money off of ads because of Sandy Hook? CNN, ABC, NBC, CBS, and Twitter. Twitter made more money off the tragic death of Sandy Hook children who were slaughtered 
slaughtered by a name that you probably don't know. More people associate Alex Jones' name with Sandy Hook than the killer. Twitter made more money off of Sandy Hook, both contemporaneously and in the post, than InfoWars or Alex Jones. You guys sold ads. Twitter didn't suspend ads on the hashtag Sandy Hook. CNN did not suspend ads when covering Sandy Hook or faking some of their coverage. Go look at it. Anderson Cooper faked some of his coverage as it relates to Sandy Hook. So I'm not someone who knew Alex Jones at the time or appeared with Alex Jones at the time. Alex Jones has since become a friend of mine. Um, And so, um, you know, that day was really horrible for me. I woke up. I, I turned on the news. I turned on CNN, as a matter of fact. Watched the news turned it off went back into bed and um so the fact is that and this is that's a perfect breakdown uh, of the scenario right here so this is a horrifically terrible take there's matthew kadish so abortion activist uh to be banned from twitter this is the door that elon musk is opening up right here it's a terrible terrible take Uh, There's nuance, bro. By that logic, you would have to ban virtually every member of Congress and the media when they stand on the graves of dead children to garner support for their political agendas or raise money for their campaigns. He's 100 percent right. This is just insane. Now, again, this is part of as nuance, bro, was there. It's part of having nuance. I like a lot of the things that Elon Musk is doing. I'm going to compliment that. But when he does things I don't like, I'm going to criticize that. But the overall scope here is that he's doing wonderful things for Twitter. Absolutely wonderful things. And I love seeing the overall impact that it is having on the platform. This particular take on Alex Jones is so unbelievably bad, though, it needs to be called out. So you guys let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you very much for checking out this video. We will talk to you later.